everybody, it is Aaron Cates and welcome back to the channel. Today, we got our adapters in for the Ford. Now I know we ended the last video with the Ford being over there. Um, I got to thinking to myself, um, taking the 40s off over there was not very fun. Drove it over here on flat tires. Um, it was not very fun, it did not like doing that. Uh, we got these lines all over the concrete. I don't know if you guys can see those from the tires like, and the rims being straight together. But we have our adapters in today. Just uh well, that was difficult. But Go. Let's take all these off so we can test fit one of them. Not enough truth. Will she bolt up? Lit. That's awesome. Okay, so let me go to the one I cleaned off. This one right here. A lot of you guys commented on the last video telling me to check the back of the wheel. So we're going to go over each spoke. Made in China. We have right here, it says a max load. Then we have right here, the, I'm guessing the serial number, max PSI. We have a random stamp that literally just says 80 on it. We have another stamp that still does not say load pattern. We have XD798, which is the model number of this wheel. It's an XD Addict. Then we have 20 by nine. Nowhere in here. See how it says 87? That's the only stamp number. I looked all the way around the barrel. There's nothing on the barrel that says eight by 170. We'll sit here and look over it again, just to make sure. But you guys can tell I cleaned this wheel up. I cleaned the back of each spoke, I cleaned everything. I came in here with the greaser and cleaned it all up. It's a lot cleaner than, than this one right here. Because a lot of you, I think I got like four comments and I got a couple messages telling me to check the back of the wheels for the load pattern. I did that. I did that when I was looking at the adapters originally. When I drove an hour out of my way to get those adapters, I, <laughs> I put them up against the wheel and when they wouldn't go in, I started looking on the back of the wheel for the lug pattern because like 90% of wheels will say it on the back. Um, I say 90% because like every other one I've ever checked, it's been there except for these. So I know it's not 100%. I checked guys. I mean, I had a lot of you telling me to check the back of the wheel um, and I responded to all of you and said I did, but there's nothing there. And now I showed you guys just for proof. Let's get that adapter tightened down and then get a wheel on because I'm pretty excited. I will confidently say those are all torqued down. Okay, uh, you guys want to talk about tucking, all right? Back here is pretty good, but that is close. I'm sure once we get the other side up, it might it might get better, it might get worse. I don't know, but you guys remember how like how squatted the back was? Now the back's higher than the front, of course. But God, that looks good. Let's see how thick she is. She thick boy? Oh yeah, she a little thick, little poke right there. Now uh, I'm gonna hurry up and get the other one on the other side because I don't want this angled like that for too long. My luck to like snap some studs on that adapter, but adapter did good. You guys saw I torqued the adapter lug nuts down and the normal lug nuts down. So we're all set. Unless something breaks, it's not coming off. Everything's torqued. So I feel confident that that's not coming off unless something breaks. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I fit good in there. Now we still do the front. But let's look at this side, see how we're looking over here. You guys remember how close it was? Oh, it got a, it got a little bit better. 
We're good. We are good. What is that thing they do? Oh wait. Wait a second. Oh. I think they're gonna look good. We got a nice little poke on them. Close to half the tire sticking out. I don't know where you guys can see that. Real close to half. Real close to half. That looks good. All right, well, sun is setting. I don't know how well you guys can see that. Sun is setting over there. So, I gotta hurry up and do this front. <sighs> I'm not gonna bore you guys with uh, me doing that. I'll just pick you guys back up once the truck is done. All right, guys. Well, tires are on, but sun has gone down. And this will show you guys kind of what I'm talking about with a light coverage with the rock lights. If you remember when these super tiny tires were on, we had a lot better light coverage because, for instance, like here, it could spread out more because there wasn't so much tire in the wheel well. And then we come back here, and it's the same scenario of so much tire being in the wheel well that this light can't spread out across the ground. So when we get up higher in the air, our rock lights will be brighter. I do plan on putting at least another eight more on this truck just to get quite a bit more light coverage. But I know you guys can't really see anything. I'll show you up front. We honestly still have some clearance. We have about the same clearance in the front as we do in the back. Uh, the front up here, plenty all day. Back here is where it will hit. Um, I'm sure we could still probably get half turn. Honestly, there's about the same amount of clearance with the 42s as there was with the 40s. So once we get the lift in, which is already ordered guys, this uh, should be a little bit higher up. So we should clear, no problem. Now while doing this, I did find out that my front brake calipers have not been working this whole time. And I'm gonna go on the porch where there's light so you guys can see me and we'll talk about that. Okay, now that you guys can see me some, um, when I was putting the front uh, tires on to torque them down, I had to put a screwdriver and the rotor to hold it against the caliper so it wouldn't continue to spin. And when I was doing that, I knocked one of the springs that it was uh, compressing the brake pads apart. I knocked it out of the caliper on accident somehow. And I got to looking at the caliper and I was looking at the sliders where the brake pads slide back and forth and there's no no sign that those pads have been going back and forth which tells me that those calipers are either locked up or they're no good or something because we bled all of the brakes we had brake fluid coming out of those calipers and they're not working so this whole time we've had rear brakes which it stops it perfectly fine you guys saw in the last video where there was the ruts in the ground it stops it perfectly fine but we will be having to order some front calipers and get some new brakes on there to have this thing safe on the road because I'm not driving down the road with just rear brakes. It's not safe, most certainly not on 42 inch tires. Be one thing if you're rocking some like 29 inch tires and you just have to do it for a couple days and stop it just fine. But that's a lot of weight in tires and that's a big truck. We don't need to be doing stuff like that. So let's say we'll be getting calipers in the near future. But I'm gonna pick you guys back up tomorrow when the sun is up and when I get home from work so you guys can get a nice daytime shot of the truck. I'll see you then. And it's daytime guys, and I'm gonna apologize now if the lens fogs up. I just brought the camera out from inside. I just got home from work, but gosh, this thing looks good. Now, I don't remember if I showed you guys last night, but we still do have some clearance right here. So I think we'll still have some turning radius. I'm sure we're not gonna have all of it, but it looks to be pretty close to the same as the 40s. Got clearance back here on both sides. So we're doing pretty good. Uh, I'm not sure how much gas we have. Gas stage doesn't work, but I stopped at the gas station, filled up my little gas can, so we're gonna throw some gas in it. And now we're gonna go on a test drive, see how they ride, see how much clearance we have, and uh, just drive it around. Oh wow, I don't think you guys can see anything. And it's like extra humid out today because it rained just a couple hours ago and it's like 90 degrees out, so it's like super humid right now. So this is gonna fog up even more. But we got it all filled up now. Uh, it hasn't been started since I moved it over here uh, like four days ago. 
So uh, here's your uh, genuine, I guess you could say, cold start. It's Florida. I'll get you a little bit closer back here to the pipes. Okay, now I know you can't hear absolutely anything I'm saying, but it is running. It is very, very loud. It's like a whole lot louder than this. But if we come up here, you guys can kind of hear what I'm saying. That truck is so, so loud. Um, as much as I love how obnoxious it is, uh, I will be putting mufflers on it. I'm thinking some like glass packs, cherry bomb, something that's not going to take too much of the noise down, but just Something to where, you know, I don't like piss off people five mile down the road. It's like, it's loud. Like I'm standing a good like 20, 30 feet from that exhaust pipe and it is still so loud that I'm like kind of yelling at you guys. So for the first test, we're gonna turn the tire just with it sitting here and see how close we get to that. Okay, so there is plans there, but as you guys know, we don't have shocks, so any bump we hit, that's gonna, that's gonna rub, and I mean, that's pretty close to full, full turn, that's about three quarters, I would say. Over here, how we looking in the front, ah, uh, we got plans for days up here, and let's let this warm up just a little bit more, and then uh, we'll take down the road. Okay, I'm gonna apologize now because the mic's probably gonna bounce off the windshield and it makes that rattling sound. I know I can hear it when I edit the videos. So I'm gonna go ahead and apologize for that. And I don't have a uh, camera stand on this dashboard. Uh, I've got one in my Chevy to hold the camera. I don't have one in this one, so the camera's probably gonna be bouncing around. <sighs> but we'll do a little end cab drive, see like how they ride everything. And then I'll get some rolling shots for you guys. First turn. Oh yeah. Oh, camera's bouncing, truck's bouncing. Why are we leaning so much? We got a flat tire. I feel like we might have a, a tire going flat or something. That front passenger side's like big time leaning and big time pulling that way. I will say though, it does it does look really good. See if I can get the steering wheel part of it on camera. It's like once you go over like 20, 30 miles an hour. That, right there. That, that is super sketch. It's like pulling really hard to that right. Watch this. That, as soon as I let go, it snatches it right over. It's got to be because that tire's low. That's my only guess. Oh, those windows up. There we go. Shut it off. I, I don't really know what's uh, wobbling so much. Everything is tight down under here. All right, can you guys see a little bit better? There we go. That's tight. That's tight. Our drag link sway bar thing behind it's tight. This side's tight. Everything's tight, so I don't understand why we've got so much shaking going on. Is that tire's low and that's what's causing it to shake? I don't know. 
I'm not a good uh, mathematician or anything. So guys, hopefully you guys like the swampers on the truck. I love the way it looks. I'm a little frustrated with like the whole hopping thing, but uh, I'll have to find a way to put air in that tire. You guys know I don't have an air compressor, so I'll have to find a way to put air in it and uh, get it all evened out. But like I did say, everything is on the way to lift it more. So if you guys haven't already, go down, hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned because you guys don't want to miss it. It's going to be one of the tallest trucks in this county that I know of at least. Um, it's going to be huge. I mean, that's on 42s and it clears them for the most part. So it's going to be huge. I want it to like full on skate those. So if you guys like this video, drop a like on it. You guys are absolutely. Well, that scared the crap out of me. I thought I was like about to die, but uh, you guys are absolutely killing the lights on us picking up these tires. The last video, you guys are killing the lights on that. So I told you guys, if you guys get it to 100 lights, we'll buy adapters to put those on here. So you guys go run up those lights. I think it's at like 64 lights or something like that. Go drop some lights on that video. Get it to 100. Get it to 100. I will buy adapters. They're like 200 and something dollars. I already have them in my watch list. Like, go ahead. Go like that video, you guys get it to 100, I will buy the adapters, and we'll throw the 42s on the Chevy. So if you guys like doing crazy stuff like that, drop lights on these videos. You guys run up these lights on these videos, I'll start doing more of what you guys want, but I can't I can't afford to do it when you guys only like, like the video like 12 times. You gotta run up them lights, they help me out. So I'm not gonna talk anymore guys, I'm in the video out here. Hope you guys like the swampers on the truck, I love them. Um, next video you guys see of this truck will hopefully be us tearing the suspension apart and getting it at least like ready and painted to put the new stuff in because we gotta take some stuff off the frame. Uh, I'll leave it at that. Catch you guys in the next one. See ya.